Hey everybody, how's it going? Good Thursday evening. We are uploading late today. Usually don't upload videos this late. I generally let things roll over to the next morning and try to just queue up a bunch of topics, but this this was something that I wanted to spend a little bit of time discussing when I heard about it because this could be pretty big. So I don't want to just pack it in with the training camp updates. I don't want to just briefly mention it for like a minute in an unrelated video. Um, this this is something that I heard a little bit ago. I wasn't able to make a video on it immediately, but this is pretty significant and it's pretty damn interesting, I think, that this team is approaching things this way. So I've made a couple of videos about the Dwayne Brown situation. I've mentioned it in passing in a couple other videos. <clears throat> I said that I think the right thing to do would be to extend Dwayne Brown. Not of a huge extension. I'm sure he's not asking for $20 million a year. He's old. He's made his money. He just wants a little bit of security. So I, I kind of felt like that's something we should probably take care of. And we might have to bend over a little bit because I felt like in a way he had some leverage over us. But I was okay with that. However, it seems like the Seahawks don't agree. Um... Per this tweet right here, which has been verified by a Bob Condota, he wrote an article about it, which I'll highlight in a second here. The Seahawks have reportedly told Dwayne Brown that they will not extend him before the season starts. They will. They want to wait and see how things play out this year before deciding how they proceed. And it makes a lot of sense why they would want to do that. I have said before that I really expected and at one point even wanted Dwayne Brown to retire this offseason because I thought he was just getting to the point where his knee was going to give out and I wanted him off the books. But he played so well and he showed so much interest in coming back that I kind of uh, changed changed uh, my tune on that. But in a perfect world, I would have wanted him to play out the last year of his deal and then we see what's up next year. But I also knew that a guy like him was probably not going to want to play on the last year of his deal. So I thought we were going to have to extend him. And he wanted to get extended, clearly. That's why he's doing this little hold-in now, but team's not going to do it. Uh, here's a Seattle Times article from a Bob Contota that was uh, published uh, earlier today. Um, they are playing hardball with Dwayne Brown, and you can read this whole article if you want to. I'm not going to in this video, but... Sources have said the team is not in active negotiations with Brown, and they have told Brown they want to keep him but want to get through the 2021 season before addressing his contract situation. <clears throat> now, the the um, kind of amusing thing about that is his contract situation will be non-existent after the 2021 season because his contract will cease to exist after 2021. So that's kind of exactly the thing he wants to avoid. So... Um, this, this, I could see this being a line in the sand that Dwayne Brown isn't willing to cross in order to meet the team halfway. I could see him going, I, I cannot accept this. It, it's it's kind of like the opposite of the Jamal Adams thing, where we know they're negotiating over very, very little in the Jamal Adams contract talks right now. Um, this could be a big deal. And I, I do think it could be a deal breaker for Dwayne Brown. And I really hope that's not the case because I don't want to see this season play out without a quality left tackle. I really don't. That that would make me immediately put my expectations into a big downshift for 2021. So I've had a few people in the comments disagree with me when I've talked about Dwayne Brown. But I said... And I wanted to find exactly what I mean by this. I said that he did kind of have leverage over the Seahawks. And the reason why I said that is because he's old. He's been in the league a long time. He's already developing knee problems. He could very reasonably just decide, you know what? I'm, I'm going to retire. I don't want to play the last year of my contract with no security beyond that. I don't want to, you know, go get the crap beaten out of me 17 plus times this year when I have no security pass to this season, I'm just going to go retire. Like, I'm, I'm good. I, I don't need to come back for another year. A lot of people thought I was going to retire this offseason anyway, so I'll just go retire. 
But would he actually do that? Let, let's uh, talk about that and see if that's actually true. Because there are some people who have pointed out to me that Dwayne Brown is so old that he wouldn't get any monster trade offers or offers in free agency, which is true. I don't think that if he went to another team, that team would be excited to give him a long-term extension. So he doesn't have a lot of leverage in that regard. I was just saying that a guy like a Dwayne Brown could retire and live with it. Jamal Adams cannot retire because he'd be throwing away the one opportunity he's going to get in his life to become super rich. But would Dwayne Brown actually walk away from the last year of a lucrative contract? Let's talk about it. This year, Dwayne Brown is playing the last year of his contract, and the cash that he's supposedly getting this year amounts to $11.35 million, almost $11.5 million. So that's a lot of money. You're not necessarily going to walk away from that. I understand that. Everybody in the world, with the exception of the true billionaires, wants to would be willing to bend over backwards to make $11.5 million instead of not making that $11.5 million, obviously, right? And Dwayne Brown, he's doing well for himself, and we'll go over exactly how well he's doing for himself in a second here, but he's not a billionaire. He's not going to look at that $11.35 million and go, uh, it's, I don't care about that. I, I, I wanted long-term security. I... I don't value that 11.35 million. I would have valued 30 million over three years or something like that, or 40 million over three years, or or whatever extension he was seeking. Like you, that 11.35 million is still valuable. Now, if you take a look at his career estimated earnings as of the end of this most recent season, he has made just over 70 million, almost 71 million dollars in his career. So, he's made his money, he's cashed in on his, uh, on his talent, he could probably retire, and assuming he's, I have no idea what Dwayne Brown does with his money, I have no idea if he's, if he has any really massive expenditures or expenses that have taken all of his money away over the years, I, I don't know, but I think we can reasonably assume that he's made enough money to where he feels like I'm going to be secure for the rest of my life and probably the life of any children I may have for, I mean, their lives. So he could walk away and that's what scares me as we play this game. I I don't have a big problem with us playing this game because it makes a lot of sense, right? Dwayne Brown's about to turn 36. He's already got knee problems. I did tell you guys that some left tackles do last a long time, but some don't. Walter Jones went from elite to garbage in one offseason. It was like a light switch. And it could happen to Dwayne Brown. I, I've never doubted that. I, I did say I think the extension would be worth the risk just to keep him happy. But it seems like the team is going to go the other way. And if you look at the numbers, it, it's tough to believe that Dwayne Brown would just walk away from $11.35 million just because he doesn't get that long-term security, right? So, it's it's an interesting bet that we're making here. It's certainly a risk. It's scary to think about him suddenly deciding, you know what, if you guys don't want to take care of me, I'm out of here. But, if you look at the numbers, I think it's reasonable to say that that 11.35 is going to mean enough to him to motivate him to come back anyway. So that's that's those are the stakes. Does Dwayne Brown care enough about that 11.35 million to come back for one more season with no long-term security, knowing that if his knee acts up, that's probably it for him and he's not going to make any more money? That's what we're going to find out and apparently the Seahawks are willing to find out the hard way. Um, I I do think that I may have over-exaggerated Dwayne Brown's leverage when I was talking about it a little earlier. A couple people in the comments did point out that he has no trade value and no team in the NFL would be willing to extend him with very, very rare exceptions because of his age and knee. So I think playing it this way is fine, but this is a dangerous game we are playing in Seattle, guys, because if he does decide, you know what, 
I'm walking away. Or if he decides he's just going to miss a few games to try to, you know, play this game of chicken and see what happens, then I don't want to see what this offense looks like without Dwayne Brown. Hopefully we don't have to. I guess that's really all there is to say about it. I'm surprised when Dwayne Brown made it clear this offseason that he was coming back for 2021, I kind of expected an extension, and I kind of felt like he had deserved it. And I felt like this team was probably going to bite on it. But now that we're here, and now that we know the team is not going to be pushed around quite so easily, and they are going to, uh, and and they're going to try to, uh, they're going to try to keep their options as open as possible going forward. It's pretty understandable. So let me know what you guys think down below. I'm, I, I can't say I'm upset about it because I get it. I totally get it. And from a business perspective, it makes a lot of sense, but it is scary to think about what might happen without Dwayne Brown. As much as Jamal Adams is a much better player than Dwayne Brown overall, and um, possibly more impactful, it would be much easier to deal with not having Jamal Adams because at least we have good safeties behind him. We have nothing behind Dwayne Brown. Nothing. Don't bring me Stone Forsyth, by the way. Um, how about you... Stay. How about you uh, go through a couple of NFL seasons learning stuff before I believe in you to protect the blind side of my franchise quarterback? All right. See y'all later. Go Hawks.